Welcome to the morning show here coming to you live from our studios in Belize City on Love Television and Love FM. I'm here with Tamar, I'm Ernesto, and we both say good morning. Good morning. You said that rather seriously. Good morning, definitely. <laughs> you How need are three you? things in your life to make your day better today. You need talent. Okay. Of course. You need motivation. Mm -hmm. And you need attitude. A good attitude. Don't you think okay. Anything well, goes through? Take you through? A good combination. Huh? I, I think it begins with a good attitude. You know, I mean, talent, uh, that's debatable because what, what certain talents are useful in certain areas and so Well, talent, talent determines what you'll do, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. your talent that determines what you're going to, to do. Y in some know. cases, talent and ability are synonymous, you know, Probably your talent, yeah. your ability. Yeah. And um, I think with the right attitude, you will maximize on your abilities. So to me, that's usually the one I try to work on first, the attitude. Well, <laughs> well the talent, the side, you know, I think what you're going to do, then your motivation, yeah. then your motivation and then what moves you on mm -hmm. and how far you will go. Motivation is important too. Yeah, you, how far you will go. And at the end of it, the attitude will determine how well you do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, how, how that's one way of looking at it. I just want to say a special good morning to all the millennials like myself who made it through another week of adulting to the best of our ability. Uh, congrats. We made it to Friday. You know? We made it to Friday. We made yeah. it to Friday. We get to relax a little bit and mm -hmm. we could maybe... Yeah. Well, you, know, you know millennials are getting old now. You know I know, that, right? I know. Yeah. No, it's not. It, we are, yeah. Yeah. We're forced to be yeah, mature a... now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, good morning. Welcome to the show, of course. Uh, our best wishes for a productive day yes. today to you. Yes. All righty. What played in the ball here? 22. Deja vu. Um, yes. Deja vu. Uh, somebody said, I know you may play again, <laughs> but I still never win. I know. Even yeah, though yeah. I know. <laughs> Fantasy 5 number 16, 29, 0, 5, 0, 1, 19. And the free ticket letter is F as in Friday. Yes, F as in Friday. You're T -G -I -S. watching the series just now. Yeah? I had to, I had to. <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to say. <laughs> and the uh, jackpot is at $162,000. They picked three numbers of 597. And of course, this is what you would call the Valentine's. Oh, we yes, can. Valentine weekend. You know, I, that's, I think that's a conspiracy by women. I'm sure we, it is. We talk about it, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, and this morning, in our lineup, uh, this morning, uh, the, the last part of our show, the second half of our mm -hmm. show this morning, we'll be giving away prizes. Isn't and that we exciting? Have a, a, we have a saxophonist who'll come into the studio, and he's going to play us some romantic music, I Musica understand. Musica romantico, yes. yes. Uh, we'll have a, his, his name is Earl Henderson, and he's, uh, well, he's retired back in Belize, a Belizean who lived in the U.S. and came back to Belize. And this, this I just want to say what the giveaways that we're going to give away at the end of the show. Uh, a Brazilian gold heart necklace and earrings, and it's courtesy of Jewelry Galore, and uh, a bottle of wine from The Fine Taste. If you've never been there, I, I recommend that you do. It's a very... Nice location for relaxation and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and socializing. Uh, so, so to win, we'll, we, we, well, we'll, we'll have to question. do a little bit. You'll have yep. to sing. Mm -hmm. We'll be asking you to, to sing a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> and uh, so stay in tune for that. But before that, yeah. we'll be talking about what's coming up here. Because this weekend also is several things. Mm -hmm. It's Valentine's. Our birthday is coming up, right? The anniversary so, or birthday of Love FM, Love FM is coming up. Nine years. Uh, and I know a lot of Belizeans follow the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. The Winter Olympics are on. 
Yeah. And I think the for the for the football fans, mm -hmm. there's a big league game coming up also this weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Well, you wouldn't. You couldn't ask yeah. me, you know. Yeah, but, I know. But I, uh, <laughs> Um, and, and the Ruta Maya is coming up next month. In fact, it's, uh, I think, about a month away. Yeah. And, and we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll be chatting with Roberto Harrison, who's um, one of the organizers, and uh, hopefully a couple of, uh, or a paddler or two, mm -hmm. if we can, find out what it's like. It's, it's, it's what, two, year, two years we haven't had it, right? Two years we had two years. to. Um, um, we didn't go on the water to actually paddle and do mm -hmm. the race. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we will be talking about that this morning. And then the but Belize other, State. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to tell you that I got a chance to drive their, uh, one of their newest models of vehicles that they have. And we actually have that Ooh. video. Me. But whose vehicles? Oh, BEC. Oh, BEC. Yeah. Wow. So you show off now? Yes, I am. <laughs> and uh, we actually have it on video. Um, the experience and everything and my thoughts on it. Um, and another exciting exci uh, announcement from BEC and all of that will be seen when they get here this morning. So wow. mm -hmm, I'm excited for that part. So where did you drive? Um, well, we had to take the scenic route, of course. Mm -hmm. So we did the, and it, I love being by the sea. I wish I could live, you know, right front of the sea. So well, that's where we took still, a little. You're still a young, <laughs> old millennial. I mean, you know, you still have a chance. To, I'm young, to but from millennial, I'm old. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's what we did, and so we're going to show that a little bit of that. And then I find this topic of the alkaboos water so interesting. It's alkaline healing water, and I want to find out more about it because if, it, if I can improve my health by simply drinking water with a certain pH balance, I want to know more about that. Well, it's one of the things we, you need to keep in mind is to hydrate. Mm -hmm. Very important. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't, we don't give that the importance it deserves. We'll be talking a little bit about that a little later as well. And, of course, we... Um, the BEC will be talking about they are, they have this program that you can finance a vehicle mm -hmm. through them if you're in the tourism industry. Yes. Well, let's uh, take this short break. We'll be back with more here on The Morning Show with Tamar and Ernesto. Register now for the Pelican La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. For registration info, contact 621-1955. The Pelican La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. March 4 to March 7. It's more than just a race. Every business is powered by their people. You can help improve the work experience for all your employees with the cloud-based solution Neo People. Neo People puts you in easy command of all your employee core people functions like payroll, Success is often as a result of hard work and unlimited enthusiasm. We did everything with people in mind. To uplift, inspire and inform Belize and Belizeans. And to educate and empower the nation one community at a time. Service to our people is paramount. Love FM. 29 years of dependability and commitment to excellence for Belize and Belizeans. An enthusiasm for improved service delivery. A spirit of community development using modern technology. 
Belize and beyond. Thanks for choosing love. Welcome back all the morning show, bright and early, and uh, it's it's been quite you know pleasant, uh, cool evenings in the in the in the city, Indeed. and I'm sure all over the country, and it's really made a big difference. Man, I I'm always so appreciative of this um, December to March weather because mm -hmm. that's right before it gets really hot, right? Mm -hmm. And and um, especially uh, sometimes I the our homes they can get so hot in the summer days like it's sometimes it's so suffocating and um, even like being out on the street when it's that hot summer weather it's, it can be very difficult but yeah. right now we get a little break from all that and even if the only even if it's just 70s we, we appreciate that we, oh, we, we love it yeah and uh, then we, we well we should be getting this is winter weather though mm -hmm. this winter. is our winter weather this is winter weather and then we'll get our what we call the Easter weather mm -hmm. coming up probably in a couple of weeks. It's going to be windy, windy but very hot windy, <laughs> and dusty. Lots of windy uh, coming up. All righty, uh, what's happening in the news? Well, internationally, the big news is, and it affects, it will affect us as well as the whole Freedom Convoy protesters, the truckers who are against the COVID mandates have converged in Ottawa. It's happening in Canada, have shut inbound Canada traffic at the Ambassador Bridge, a key supply route for automakers connecting Detroit to Windsor, Ontario from yesterday. And now the Americans are advising or administration, uh, um, urging Canada to use federal powers okay. to end the blockade because it is three automakers, GM, Toyota, and uh, I think uh, Ford have actually had to stop what, do, what, what would you say the rippling effects of that could be? Well, like I said, stopping uh, increased prices for mm. one again mm -hmm. uh, will affect that, and the, the production of automobiles and so on is not happening. The Blue Water Bridge connecting Sarnia, Ontario, to Port Huron, Michigan, is also reporting delays of at least four and a half. What they're doing on that bridge is they're driving very slowly. Okay, okay, very that's slowly. in a form so of protest. Uh, yeah. At what? the time when the auto industry supply chain is already hanging by a thread due to global semiconductor crunch because of the pandemic, these disruptions have hit major vehicle production plants. What? Chrysler Pacifica minivan plant in Windsor, if you were planning to buy a minivan, you might have to wait because of a lack of parts combined with severe weather, trucker-led disruptions forced the world's largest automaker, Toyota, to suspend production of its entire site for the rest of the week. One week e of production Employment helps. will affect as well. Mm -hmm. Ford had to operate a reduced second shift at its Lansing, Michigan plant happening in the world. Here's a, here's a cute little story. They hired in Russia, they hired a security guard to, to, well, to guard some very expensive and famous paintings, right? And then what happens, he saw a painting that has three faces on it, but has no eyes. So he took a ballpoint pen mm -hmm. and he drew eyes on it. I think they are referred to as the faceless painting because the it, has the, it yes. has the shape of the face, uh -huh. the head, but it has no eyes, no right. nose, so no you saw features. This, you saw it. And uh, I, don't know, I don't know how I would feel about that. I mean, does this know... It changes the art because no, that can't, cannot well, be moved? Well, they, they've already taken the arts for restoration. Okay, they I was took wondering. Them for restoration. I was wondering say, if that could, in the in the very <laughs> distant future, if that could, um, if that could 
add value to it because of the story that is attached to it. <laughs> I mean, is it the fair story? Which I don't know. Whatever. It's it's, it's very strange that well, he he's would been fired and dishonor. And he could end up in jail. And I mean, these are expensive paintings, and I, and you know. And he should. He should end up in jail. Because I mean, when little kids write on walls with crayons, they get put in the corner, right? Right. And now here he is, right. defacing a, a, a piece of art that is, I guess, t hunt years old. I don't know how, many, how much yeah, years old quite, it is. Quite a few. Uh, 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 it's a, a famous Russian painter. The irreverence of it. Uh -huh. And, and uh, he... <laughs> He did that. Well, they say that the, he did not apply strong pressure to the canvas with the pen, and as a result, the damage did not go very deep, according to the art newspaper in Russia. So they are going to... Rest <laughs> it's restorable. <laughs> it's basically, rest it, it's damaged some of it, mm. but he's going to be in serious trouble. You wonder what got in... I don't know. You know, when you visit Louvre and you go to, you're watching the Mona Lisa, mm -hmm. Uh, You've seen it in person? Yeah. Oh, wow. It, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the story. It has a sign that says no flash Oh. when you take a picture. It, uh, why? Well, apparently the, the, the light can affect the painting. Oh, the, I the, see. The, you know, and of course, I didn't know my flash was on. And it is embarrassing because everybody standing there looks at you like you're an idiot. I know you're I not only are you an idiot, but you're so disrespectful. Yeah. It's like your phone <laughs> ringing in the middle of a funeral. Right, you know? something it's like that. It's terrible. Yeah, exactly. And the guard looks at you, you know, and I would, I would, I was hoping the the, or, the earth would open up and I would fall. <laughs> Here you are at this museum, you know, putting on your best sophisticated face. Yes, yeah, that's right. And then you blunder like that. <clears throat> but this is the way it, it, it happens. Uh, Belize's second prime minister, Sir Manuel Esquivel, passed away yesterday yes. at the age of 81. And uh, this is, I mean, it just happened yesterday. And I know the family recently put out the release, I think, less than 24 hours ago. They put it out immediately after he passed. Um, but this is history in the making. You know, uh, our first prime minister passed away just, what, three years ago. Yeah, they, and then mm -hmm. and now we've lost. You know, it just shows that time is marching on. Time is marching on. Belize is, you know, there's a well, lot changing. Well, at least it's following the chronology. I know, the yeah. First and the second. Uh -huh. <laughs> but but time, I, time. You're right. Time passes on, and each of these men do have an effect and an impact yes. on the country and the and the and the um, impact. I I I spoke to him many times. I didn't know him very well. Uh, when I was, I, I when I was in, in my, should say my prime as a honorary consul, he was prime minister, and we would hold these cocktails for French Bastille, and he would attend okay. every time. And uh, one small experience, I remember with him, he walked in and he said, "Are you sure you have the French flag properly? <laughs> because the French flag has blue, red, white, and blue in bands, mm -hmm. and." If you don't know better, you can hang it upside down. Right, you have to you know, know exactly which side is yeah, right up. In and he noticed, you know, he said, you sure? I said, yes, we do have it correct. He said, oh, I'm just, just, just checking. checking. I, 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 I remember that. You know, he, he was a very, well, very pleasant man. Not, not uh, a lo lot of, well, I didn't have a lot of conversation with him. I'm sure he had those close to him. And I've also had the pleasure of uh, doing business and associating with his wife and his children a daughter especially, and Ruth, uh, to you, my dear, sincere condolences from myself and our family and the passing of your dad. Uh, the Esquivel family has you know, made an impact here. Yes. Uh, Mrs. Esquivel, as you know, is an author. Yeah, I have her books. Yeah, exactly. And it, uh, she also has, she's a playwright as well, mm -hmm. wrote a play. In fact, just before the pandemic, she had a play at the Bliss. I didn't have the pleasure of being in it, but I did go to see it, and it was... Very interesting. I mean, and she's uh, she's like my wife. She's not a Belizean, but they married. Uh, well, in my case, not a very handsome Belizean man, but came to live here, and have adopted the country and loved it more. The, your wife watches show. Does your wife watch the show? <laughs> so, uh, you're gonna get in real trouble. But you know, apart from being the first leader to have led the United Democratic Party to its first victory, um, some would credit um, Sir Manuel as being the leader who, who made Belize's democracy real. Really, uh, yeah, he, well, that's one thing about him. I, I think when he decided he wanted to do something and he thought it was mm -hmm. for the best, and sometimes, you know, like they say, you have to put ointment 
on the wound, mm -hmm. and you have to cause some pain. He was that kind of guy, and I think he was upstanding, mm -hmm. and he was, he believed in what he was doing, and I thought I, I thought he he meant well for the country. He really did. He really, he's one of, he's one of those. All righty. Um, one of the things we, we well we are talking about passing and uh, and death and so on, which is inevitable. You know, there are only two things you have to do in this life. You have to be born and you have to die. No. No, what? What is that? No, you have to pay taxes oh. and die. There are two things you have to do. You, know, you don't have to be born. I mean, yeah, I could choose to be a hermit and not be a part of society. <laughs> Just saying. Look, you still have a goat and you buy one bread and you pay tax on a bread. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeah. consequence of civilization. That's right. That's right. All right. Um, speaking of that, um, we can shake into uh, talking a little bit about health. Mm -hmm. I had the pleasure of uh, drinking uh, Alka Boost water. As I believe have I. in I believe in hydrating. As have I. Yeah, I believe in hydrating, and it's important. You need you know the experts say you need eight glasses of water every day. Mm -hmm. Some will say not that much as long as you you hydrate. Another uh, mistake we also make is that we don't drink water until you're thirsty. You shouldn't. You should anticipate it because if you drink it when you're thirsty, it's already kind of late. It's yeah, that's, already that's causing a signal damage that to your you system. are dehydrated. Right. Alkaline healing water hydrates you faster than regular purified water. Uh, that, that's true because regular water doesn't really have anything in it. You know, sometimes tap water you give might me do news. better. I thought I was doing so well. When I was drinking my two liters of water per day, regular water. That's good. No, no, that's good for you. It's good. But you, you can, you can, you can boost it with a little bit of, uh, and according to to the to the makers of alkaline alka boost water, benefits of drinking alka boost water is well, it has more. If if you if I think we have it in Belize, if I'm not mistaken, but in the U.S. you have what they call flavored water, mm -hmm. and some of them have sugar, which then defeats the purpose. But others don't. And they do mix some water, they put a little vitamin here and mm -hmm. there to, to boost some fluoride and so on. Alkaline water, it says, uh, it helps, helps the body to naturally rid itself of acidic waste and products. And that all has to do with the science of the pH of this water. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And it also helps to prevent 150 diseases such as cancer, migraines, hypertension, cardiovascular illness, and acid reflux. You could say that, uh, that that's stretching it a bit, but it's not. Because anything you do for your body that is good for it helps your immune system. Especially if you subscribe to the theory that a healthy pH um, will help to eliminate all, because that's a that's a it helps that's you a principle. And, and, and your, a principle yeah. a, a principle that a lot of people live by is that when your pH balance is off and you have a high acidic content inside mm -hmm. your body, that is when diseases are able to run rampant inside of you and yeah, it affects because it. Because your immune system is not your able to work at are not peak. Like a, the least soldier they are kind of weak. So they you never know, take the vaccine. So they can't fight the, the enemy. Yes. So you have to boost them wherever you can. It's packed with minerals. And this is important because if you're not a person who normally takes all this, maybe you, 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 don't, do, um, you don't do supplements, or you don't eat bananas, or you don't eat a lot of fruit, mm -hmm. then this helps a bit because it's packed with calcium, which you need, potassium, migraines, and it, which helps with migraines and hypertension, cardiovascular illnesses, and acid reflux. And it's packed with calcium, potassium, selenium, and magnesium. Whoa, it sounds like a mine. I don't know what all of these are, but I know that they're important for overall yeah. general health. Mm -hmm. Uh, it contains antioxidants, with, which slows this the aging process. This is interest me, right? Me too. I should start to interest <laughs> you too. It slows the aging process. So what I was planning to do is bathe in it. Yeah, do that. That might work, I don't, don't you? And I, I always have this debate with my, my other friends who are interested in beauty. Is it more beneficial or is it even beneficial to put on vitamins topically? Or is it more about what you, what you eat or what you put inside your body? Well, what you remember your body is designed to not allow anything in you. Know. But isn't some, of, isn't some of it absorbent? Yes. That's why they say when you put <laughs> it on your skin, very small percentage does enter because okay. your body is designed to repair. So then maybe don't bathe in it. You're right. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe just drink it. Reduces muscle fatigue. It supports the nervous system as well. 
And uh, this, this uh, the Alka Boost water comes available in different sizes. You have the 500 milliliter. Yeah, you have the... The one liter, the one gallon, the three gallon, and the five gallon. The five, the five, the three gallon would be good enough for a bath. <laughs> this man insists to bathe in this water, you know. <laughs> a little bit going in. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure. And then maybe like washing your hair and stuff, that would be good. You know, if you want to protect your silver tresses. That's, uh, that's... I don't know. I think you should check that. What what effect like potassium disclaimer, and selenium disclaimer will have Disclaimer: that is not on, a benefit listed hair. by Alcabus. <laughs> we're just conjecturing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just saying that. But Alcabus water, and you, you'll find it all over. Don't be afraid to try it. There's no no. You know, you you what I say? It, you, you you drink water. You, yeah, you, you are going to drink water anyway. Yeah. So might as well try you, one that has I, some scientific research to back up uh, some of these well these claims. And also, I have to say, I like the packaging. It's very sleek looking. I like it. It is. It yeah. is. Very professional. It looks very expensive too. Look for a swirl. Yeah. yeah. It, look, it looks... It looks um, and if you, if you work out a lot, um, I think it's a good conversation starter as well. Somebody see you walking around with Alka Boost water and, and the, the 9.5 pH um, label that's on it. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, somebody might ask, well, why do you drink this one? And then mm -hmm. you could boast yeah, your knowledge. You, could, you know, I mean, if, if you... If, if, if you don't want to drink it all the time. You don't have to drink it all the time. Just make sure you get an amount often yeah. so that you, you, you boost yourself up and your, of course, your antibodies and so on to help your system. It's all designed to help your system fight off disease. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want to do, especially in this time. You know, the stronger you are, well, that's one thing we learned from the pandemic. The you know, we you have are. not been taking care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, guess what happened? The virus just can't play havoc with our system. So let that be a lesson. Take care of yourself and you didn't try and keep healthy, as healthy as you can. That's your first defense. You didn't the mask and all this does work, but you want your, you, like I said, least soldier inside ready for That's right. For when the virus gets in there, they could fight back. You didn't even tell me what their Valentine plans. My Valentine plan? You didn't tell me at all. Um, <laughs> probably watch a movie. Oh, that's sweet. Like yeah. a little indoor date night mm -hmm, type thing. Type thing, yeah. I like that. Something like that, yeah. Watch a movie, like one of these tear jerkers. Uh -huh. You know the phrase, right? Yeah, I mean, some of these romantic comedies can be, mm -hmm. you know, tugging at the heartstring too. That's right. And then yeah. you have the more dramatic ones like, um, like uh, what's the, the notebook? <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever been on a date where you're with a guy uh -huh. and the movie is, you know, a tear jerker? Yeah. And you, you being a woman, you know, manually I want to drop, yeah. you know, so. And you know that if you glance at him, he's trying very hard not to cut. I've never had that. you never had it? I've never. Okay. I think they distract themselves <laughs> mentally. I think they really try. We do, we do. That's yeah. what I'm saying. We try. We try not to, you know, they look at the movie or I want to cry, <laughs> but you try not to. Think about other things because you, you don't want to cry in front of your girl. <laughs> no, no. But girls will like that, right? Of course. You're sensitive. Oh, but yeah, of there course. There you go, guys. A, a Valentine tip a for you. A lot of people... Listen, let me just give you all a tip, right? Uh -huh. A lot of people don't know how to transition from the Netflix to the chill. If you uh -huh. were ever to, like, drop a little tear, that's uh -huh. the perfect transition. I'm just saying. I just say, <laughs> all right. With that, we'll take a break. We'll be back, and we'll be talking about La Ruta Maya. Again, La Ruta Maya, everybody want win. The river challenge is a glorious thing. Who will be champion and be crown king? Row to the left, row to the right. La Ruta Maya, challenge of your life. Row to the left, row to the right. Clean up the river, make it look right. Row to the left, row to the right. Like we elders back in the time. The hearts were great, is where it all start. All type of people come for the part. Can do like sand, make the river get popped inside. Just before the gunshot Some of them is here to watch the ceremony Some of them is here to win the big money Some of them just to be able to see that I've done it Row to the left, row to the right La Ruta Maya, challenge your life Row to the left, row to the right Like we elders, back in the time We see them, they work out from months before Cause them, want to win this year, race to be sure Get things prepared for what is in store Imagine, paddling and you feel all sore Imagine you think you're soon done but you got more Row to the left, row to the right Like we elders, back in the time The pandemic river, this year race to happen Till he meet another river right round the bend The Mopan river is this year one day Village river is created when these two blend This route we ancestors used back then Row to the left 
road to the right Like we elders back in the time The Pelican La Ruta Maya Belay's River Challenge is back March 4 to March 7 It's more than just a race Defeating Diabetes with Healthy Eating Defeat diabetes by eating healthy. Eating healthy is easy. Eat plenty of vegetables. Drink lots of water. Fruits are good for you. Fish is deliciously healthy. Live well and live long. Avoid soft drinks, chips, sugar, salt and all junk foods. Brought to you by the Sunrise Rotary Club of Belize, the Love Foundation and the Kidney Association of Belize. For more information, visit www.niddk.nih.gov slash health information slash kidney disease. Success is often as a result of hard work and unlimited enthusiasm. We did everything with people in mind. To uplift, inspire, and inform Belize and Belizeans. And to educate and empower the nation, one community at a time. Service to our people is paramount. Love FM, 29 years of dependability and commitment to excellence for Belize and Belizeans. for improved service delivery. A spirit of community development using modern technology. Belize and beyond. Thanks for choosing love. Register now for the Belekin La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. For registration info, contact 621-1955. The Belekin La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. March 4 to March 7. It's more than just a race. Good morning and welcome back to Friday's edition of The Morning Show. This is Tamar and Ernesto in your company. And our next guest brings us brings some smiles to our faces because it's definitely an indication of returning to better times. I mean, fingers crossed and being very hopeful. <laughs> um, we are talking with, this morning we're talking with Roberto Harrison and we also have with us uh, Fabiola Mendez. Well, um and we'll, uh, some paddlers will be joining us later on as well. Uh, and we're talking about La Ruta Maya and uh, getting back into things this year. This is the year that we return to the river, right, uh, Roberto? That is correct. Um, I heard you said two years, but actually it was last year was the only year that we didn't have. Oh, that's because correct. We were right after the... the That's right, in right. 2020. It was the last event we had, yeah. right before uh, things started so to shut down. It was only last year that they didn't have the, the, the race, so we, we, we're back on it again, and it's quite exciting. Uh, you, you, you have to understand that, that kind of, of, of um, goosebumps that it gives you when you can speak of, of 
being a part of organizing this mm -hmm. race uh, and, mm -hmm. and have it done for 25 years now. It's, it's quite, quite an interesting and, and, and very uh, satisfying event for not only for us but for the rest of the country. No? A lot of your fans, a lot of the fans of the race are under 25 and all we know is that as long as we've been alive, we've been hearing about La Ruta Maya, it's just a thing, it's like a part of our, uh, our culture. But it, how did it start? Well, actually, it, 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 again, in, back in 1998, we were sitting down at the St. Ignacio Hotel wondering what can we do for a long weekend. You were drinking something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, the, the, there was nothing happening around the 9th of March, mm -hmm. at least up in, in, in San Ignacio. So we, we, we toyed around and we looked at all kinds of uh, ideas and, and the last idea came, well, let's do a canoe race from San Ignacio to, to Belize City. Um, and that was like um, two months, that was like mid-January. Um, and trying to put that race together it was quite a, an, an, an event for us. Um, but nonetheless, that's how it started out, wanting to, 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 to have an event for, for, for that long weekend there. Uh, and so we, we, we targeted, uh, we didn't know what we were getting into in any case, in, in, because we didn't know the river, we didn't know, know anything really. So mm -hmm. uh, that year was, was, was an, the experience for us, and, and we managed to have 30 uh, canoes entering the, the, the race that year. And we grew the race uh, for at least 10 years. I mean, the, 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 the largest um, canoes registering was 101 canoes, um, perhaps uh, two, 2002 thereabouts. Um, so uh, the race has, has taken on its own, own way of, of attracting not only young people, but also quite a bit of, of the, the elder people follow the race. It has managed to bring an, an entrepreneurial side of it, um, mm -hmm. the food, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the, the, the canoes themselves. Along the, along the Yeah, we started down. out with plastic and aluminum canoes. Uh, today you, you can't, well not that you can't, but you run this race now with, with, with a more um, lighter canoe that, that you, you're able to do the race in, in shorter time. The first race took about 26 hours. The race is now down to like 16, 16 hours there, thereabouts. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so when, when you just started, were the canoes the, or the paddlers mostly from Cayo? Mostly from Cayo, yeah. Um, again, um, it's, it's after that first event that, that, that people outside of, 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 of the Cayo district got interested and... and, and, and mm -hmm. You, you mentioned that at its peak, or um, the largest number so far is 101 registered teams, mm -hmm. uh, and you were also able to attract paddlers from all over the world. Clearly, um, well, when there was a bad sub that, that, that came in around, mm -hmm. around that time, and they entered the, like like 10 teams. Um, there was the Japanese, the the, um, the Peace Corps volunteers. So yeah, there was a, quite a bit of outside um, participation as well. Uh, we, have, we have always wanted to, to have more of the quote-unquote quote professional paddlers mm -hmm. um, out of Texas, um, out of Michigan, but we haven't been able to, to get to that as yet. Has it, has it uh, well, when you did the first one, obviously these were what you'd call amateur paddlers, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Has, it, has it updated now and moved on to become a more of a professional paddlers uh, event? I would think so because from the mere fact that, that, that uh, the Canoe Association could have taken this guy Amado to, to the Olympics mm -hmm. last year, I think we have moved from just the, the, the basic canoeing mm -hmm. to, 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 or the amateur type to, to, to mm -hmm. a more organized and, and, and more disciplinary, more, more preparation. Um, type of, of, of canoeing. Now, clearly, these guys also have won races in, in, in Texas, in, in, mm -hmm. in Panama, the Ocean to Ocean race mm -hmm. there. So, th this, the, 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 the sports has clearly developed and, and, and has brought in uh, competition amongst, amongst 
Um, all the, the professionals, the, because the you still have the amateur aspect. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. 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 That you, yeah. that you, uh, anyone, I mean, even I could get in there and paddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, uh, the master's hours, category. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, again, after that, we realized that we had to, to, to create categories, different, um, because the, the, the first couple of years, it, it was the only the, 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 the best that were winning the, 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 the prizes, and so it's, we thought that we needed to, to share the prizes more, so we created male, female, mix, masters, intramural, family, pleasure, um, so that it, it, it was, the competition was then greater because yeah. we had competition in each one of the eight categories that we now have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you say that, that uh, but the sport now has, is dominated by a few expert, by a few professionals? I would, yeah, it, clearly, the, the, the female and, 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 and the male and female categories are, are where the, 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 the better competition mm -hmm. is, and, and, and then the others right. follow right. behind. Yeah. But yeah. The, the, the main race is dominated by a few great paddlers. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. 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 And are yeah. they interested in, enjoy, in coming in in this race? Yeah, yeah. This year? yeah I think that everybody okay. is excited to, to be back on, on, on the river. I, mean, I, I see a lot of the paddlers practicing uh, again and, and so and that's that's part of the, the the whole preparation also joining us in the studio is fabiola mendez are you joining us on the show this morning yes i'm so uh, what what role do you play my dear so i did la ruta maya i think it was like three or four years ago and it was a amazing experience and when i finished i said and i completed and i arrived i said i'm never gonna do this again <laughs> it's not i already did this i'm not gonna do it again but we were toying with it at work and you know throwing ideas of what to do for um you know just the synergy of building um, Madisco is a lot into synergy and building the rapport with employees right mm -hmm. with the staff and we toyed and we said, okay, we should do, I was just toying, I just <laughs> threw out the idea. And I said, you know, we should enter a team in La Ruta Maya. And my general manager said, that is a great idea. I think you should. And here I am. So you're, <laughs> I you're am. entering again. Yes, I am, I'm entering again myself. Four, year, four years later. Four years later. You can do it? I believe I can. All if right. I did it once, I think I can do it again. So, right. um, yeah, I'm excited. Well, what did you say you need, talent? Motivation and attitude, All right? All of that needs to be combined. <clears throat> um, what was that experience like? I can't even picture paddling, you know, every day for like, what, three days until from Kaya yeah. to Belize? Four days. Four, four days, days of paddling. Days. Well, uh, what was that experience like for you? Um, for me, it was, y people have different, like you, I, you talk to people and everybody has different uh, feelings and which was, day was the hardest or, you know, it was all good. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't flip the first day. So, <laughs> you know, but the hardest day for me would be, um, yeah, I think, too. the day from... Uh, Banana uh, Bank. No, that was a good day for me. <laughs> the one where you arrive from Isabella to Boom. Okay, third day. Because to me, when you go by vehicle, I boom, they're right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Boom, they at store, and the river takes you all the way up to, I think, um, Maypen, Biscayne, and then it brings you back down. And I was giving up. I was like, I'm done. I'm, I'm not going to finish this race because this is insane. Like, why am I putting myself through this? <laughs> <laughs> I could be cheering on somebody, you know? Yeah. But I decided. But it's a, it's a good experience. I, w I would encourage people to do it. More females. I would encourage more females to partake in it. Um, of course, Fabella, you had... Teammates. Of course, yes. Yeah. I had teammates. teammates. Um, I have Carlo Marin, who's my uh, who's the operation manager for my disco, and I have Hakim Belial, who is um, inventory assistant at my disco. So you were in a mix. So was in a mix. Uh, so I'm in yeah. category. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's or my team. Perhaps pleasure. Um, uh -huh. Category. Okay. Well. Yeah. All righty. So Carlo got your back. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And so last night we were trying, we we're working out and we we're trying to ask, okay, so where will I go? And so we launched the canoe finally on Sunday or Saturday. We launched the canoe and we we're just going to try now to balance who goes where 
and what is our yeah, role? It's the same team you're putting in again? No, so oh. it's a different team. Th this is my Madisco team. Previously, I was with Stationary House. Okay, okay, but, but that time you still had Carlo and... No, that, oh. it was a different, it was Carlos... That's I'm asking, the, the, who are your teammates? Oh, when it was partner? Carlos, Melado, and Daniel, I can't remember his surname, but those were my previous teammates, again in the mixed category. Okay, and yeah. you know you'll be doing it with, with, with another Carlo? Yes, with oh, Carlo and Hakim. So I'm okay. excited to do this. I can't wait. Um, we have been working out at the gym, doing, you know, trying to strengthen your back and your and arms because yeah, you, you, need, you need it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm excited to have it back. No, Roberto, uh, after that um, after that one year pause on the race, it's not as simple as just dusting off can canoes and, you know, picking up your paddle. It, it, there's a lot more going back into just jumping back into the race. Can you talk about what the prep has Clearly been the, so the, far? Clearly, the, the COVID um, protocols um, will need to be followed. Um, the, one of the, the things clearly we, we, we want to emphasize is that only vaccinated um, paddlers will be able to register. Um, so that in itself brings an, a, 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 a new perspective on how we, we will go about um, allowing participation from, from the public at large, uh, checkpoints, um, uh, temperature monitoring, mm. uh, being consistent with, 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 with washing your hands and that type of thing. We're still working on, on some details with, with, with the Ministry of Health to, 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 to be able to, to have Perhaps not a perfect race, but, but one that takes into account the health now of, 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 of the people that will, will be around. Since how are we going to be able to watch now? Because as far as I understand it, we're not going to be able to gather along the riverbanks. Will there be some gathering allowed? Uh, we're still working on those details, okay. uh, so we, we, we don't want well, to... It'll be interesting how you arrive yeah. at that. Yeah. You either do or you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think, uh, again, the social or the physical distancing will, will be uh, an important yeah. aspect of it. Um, how much persons will be allowed and that type of thing. Again, with, with those details have to be worked out a little bit before we Interesting. How many, how many, do you, are you aware, how many gathering spots are along the river during this Ooh, race? They're, quite they're, a few. There are quite a few. Quite a few. At, uh, well, you have the, 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 the four different spots. Of course. But, where the race besides begins. Besides that. But... From San Ignacio oh. to, to, to Banana Bank, uh, I mean every all along the river, all along, bank, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's 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 and you can't well, not that you can't stop it, but but there's so many ways you can get to different mm -hmm. parts of the mm -hmm. river. And so mm -hmm. uh, and, and you know, uh, at least history tells us that uh, hundreds of people gather. Yeah, thousands. Uh, I know people have what they call tailgate parties yeah, out yeah, there, yeah, yeah. barbecue pits, and yeah. wait for it to pass. So and it's, so it's, it's, it's going to be yeah. a uh, challenge, challenge in in that respect. And again, so you have two challenges. You have the challenges in the canoe and all. Yeah, the exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, maybe. but yeah. how's the registration going? Uh, I think it's 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 going well. Uh, again, um, uh, you don't expect. We I don't. Mean, we, we don't expect. A large crowd at because at we, we're country. looking at uh, at least 50 teams to, that, to, 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 to register. Teams, that's and that's I think if we can get that, then we, we will say, well, we, we have another successful. You're on your way back. Yeah. <laughs> to, to are they, are yeah. The, old, the, the, the old champs? Well, not the old champs. Well, the past champs yeah, yeah. participating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because they have to defend. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So and their challengers, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Are, and again, are, are yeah, jumping in. the race trying to guarantee prizes mm -hmm. for all of the categories for second and third. Mm -hmm. Their station prizes. <clears throat> um, again, uh, we 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 are trying to 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 make it as 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 good as it we we can for for teams to come back and, and, and paddle. Yeah. I know that paddlers and teams, they reach out to the committee a lot for support, mm -hmm. when it, whether it be they can't find a canoe or whether, what are some of the concerns that you've been hearing so far? Uh, none, I think, in, 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 a, in a certain way, but, but clearly the, 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 the COVID-19 protocols are, are, are where the mo most of the questions, questions are. Right. How will you handle this? How, will you, how many, how many 
people can can follow me on, as as the backup. As a right. team, so yeah. Yeah. Support yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, how are they dealing with the you have to be vaccine vaccinated uh, rule that is now mm -hmm. required? We, we we haven't heard any negative okay. thing about that as, as yet because I think perhaps this might have been the f the first announcement that if if you're going to register, you must be you must present your vaccination card and and, and you know again. There will be some, some, well, not some, but there are the the, the, the COVID protocols that that will be in but place. But I, 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 what I'm hearing probably is the vaccination issue is going to be the the, the priority here. I, I believe the, so. The priority mm -hmm. because the, the paddlers themselves, and then the, they have their service teams, mm -hmm. you know, and if they are going to gather, well, if you have vaccinated, you can gather. I guess I don't know. Yeah. But and your team is like yeah. your family. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's no use if the paddlers have, yeah. have to be vaccinated and everybody around them isn't. Right. So yeah. something has to apply. In, in and and in some things will have to change because some of these teams can have a hundred people following exactly. one team. Exactly. I mean, and, and exactly. And, and, and you, you, what do you say? Cut down to 50? But that's a, what's yeah. the difference between 50 and 100? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. So it's, it's going <laughs> to be... Like I keep advising the authorities, open up this thing, man. Let's do it. I and mean, let you people have to live be with responsible it. Let people for responsible their own protection. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. There are people who come into the studio and sit exactly where you're sitting yeah. and they choose to wear their mask. Uh -huh. And when we wear ours. And uh -huh. yeah. But, other, I, but it's a case, but because we have the distance, mm -hmm. um, it's a it's a case by case, you know, decision. Clearly, mm -hmm. clearly. I guess yeah. uh, Fabiola, you're vaccinated? Yes, okay. fully vaccinated, and I have my booster and shot booster also. As well. Correct. Yeah. So I am good. Well, but you it know, would that's be not going to help you with the public. You know I know, that. I know. <laughs> I wish I it did. But it would be interesting to know, and I would to the committee that, um, and to Health Ministry of Health, that when the gathering, people don't understand what the gathering means until they are in that canoe paddling, mm -hmm. and the support. To you know, to to hear people cheering you, you need on that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. along yeah. that going. Al along that riverbank, yeah. you know, to hear people. You just you're about to give up, and you just hear that people that's like what, go go. Yeah. What I, you know? That's what it's all about. Exactly. <laughs> that's what's about. You know, so I would I would plead to whatever authorities, whatever Ministry of Health, um, the organizers, that you know, I know. COVID is here and COVID isn't going anywhere. No, we have to live with it. So all. we have to live with it. That. And it's either you as yourself have to be responsible to get vaccinated, wear your mask, sanitize, and do yeah. as much as you can mm -hmm. um, to protect yourself and your family, but it's not going anywhere. So no. I just encourage, like, no. I would plead to the authorities and, you know, the organizers, open it up, let it be. It's been a while we've been, <laughs> like, <laughs> gathering. That makes, that makes two of us. Okay. <laughs> that makes two of Three. us. I, I agree. I, I, we have to do, of course, there has to be some precaution. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah. but you know, a gathering is two people, and a gathering is a hundred people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't tell me a gathering of fifty is different from twenty-five or twenty-five different from a hundred. Yeah. We are gathering, yeah. and six feet apart. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you'll have families coming <laughs> over. Okay, so what are you going to do? Make one family here six feet, have another family six feet, have another family. Yeah. You know, uh, you'll find people in adopting people. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then it is an event where you eat, yeah. you drink, drink yeah. you know, and I'm not talking about booze. I mean, you drink a lot of water, you have to drink exactly. your Alka Boost. Yeah, yeah, you have to drink your Alka Boost, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and all that before you get on there. So it's, I, I understand the authorities have an issue and they have a dilemma. Yeah. And from the spectator's point of view, there is drinking of booze. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, and that, that brings us our sponsors, right? <laughs> Who are your sponsors? Well, clearly, without without uh, the great sponsorship of our traditional partners, partners that have contributed to, to, to the success of this race, Be Call, Belize Bank, Niche, the Ministry of Human Development, Families and Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Sol, the Honorable uh, Radwell Ferguson, the Embassy of the Republic, on Taiwan. They put a team too, I think, in the past, have they? Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Ainia, I uh, hope I pronounced that right. Ainia, I think. Ainia. Ainia. BTB, Belkin, of course, and Caribbean Motors. And, and there's others that do 
small contributions, uh, hot, uh, overnight hotel for prizes and, and, and that type of thing. Are you getting any kind of resistance from the public or feedback? Uh, what's the feedback like from public? I, I, th I think, well, and, uh, like, like in other years, I mean, um, the, 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 the willingness to, to, to participate and be a partner in, in this race has, is, has always been there. I don't think we... we, we uh, because we, 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 we started a little bit late as well, uh, this, this planning normally starts from, from mm -hmm. September last mm -hmm. year, and, and, and we just kind of got to go ahead uh, in early January to, to, that we would be able to, to have the race. So it, it, a little late start, but nonetheless, I think we, we, we have good partners in, in, in for this year again. Yeah. Okay. But what, what I'm getting at, you're, you're not getting any resistance like we shouldn't do this. No, 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 no. Not no, at no, all. No, right? no, no, no. Good. I think, so I all think the feedback has been 100% in support. I think the, the, the excitement is like, like what you said, you know, yeah. we're, we're, we're sophisticated. Uh, no, no, <laughs> we, 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 we lock down and, and, and we, we, need for, up, yeah. we need to breathe a little bit yeah, we, yeah. Uh, at the good, at the good and, and laugh a little bit. Yeah. All righty. So if anybody wants to register, how do they do that? They can register. Uh, online with, with um, and I don't have that, yeah. but with RSV mm -hmm. um, oh. here. Here, okay. And in San Ignacio, you can pay at the Audit Pizza and by the Welcome Center. Okay. The registration fee is, is uh, $300, sorry. That gives you um, lunch for the four days and water for, for during the course of the okay. of, of the okay. four okay. days. Okay, so you're paying for, for, for um, service? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and again, the, the, the extra, well, not extra in that sense, but the the, the availability of... of um, will you have a boat, an emergency, a boat following? See if, see like if the that, boats will boat. be on the river, the, 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 the sanitizing liquids and so oh. it will be provided. Are, are, are um, each team allowed to have their own service team? Is that allowed or is that controlled? I know in the past. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At, at, uh, again, we, we, that will be part of the, 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 the protocols and, and the details and what we are working on. That are forthcoming. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Clearly without that support team. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that means you'll have to come back and update us once you have all of that yeah. in Clearly. black and white. Clearly. Letting us know if me and Ernesto could get with the, what do you call the chairs that you, the foldable chairs? Yeah, the foldable. I don't have my own already, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll pack it on the side. Yeah, yeah with the cup holder. Yeah, the cup holder. Mm -hmm. The coconut yeah. water. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Importantly well, for... Fabiola go by slowly. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> very fast. She'll be going very fast. <laughs> yeah. Importantly for, for those registering is to, is to look at the rules as well. Um, and... and at the basic rules that are that are been there, mm -hmm. uh, I think as soon as we get the the, the, the details of the COVID nineteen protocols, then that will be put in there as well, so that you know clearly what what your role will be in 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 maintaining the, the health aspect of, of, of the race. No? Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, likewise, the the use of of alcohol is 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 not prohibited but at least during the, the, the course of the race if you're a paddler refrain from mm -hmm. oh yeah the paddlers of um, course yeah you know, the use you, of you drugs. refrain from alcohol during uh, i'm sure if you could do that <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying <laughs> so all right well the and the days when it's is it going march to 4th to the 7th uh, it's on a friday March 4 to the 7th? March 4, March 5, March 6, mm -hmm. March yeah. 7th. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And the race starts at under the Hawksworth Bridge. Mm -hmm. The first day ends in at Banana Bank. It starts on the following day in Banana Bank to Cabbage. Double Head Cabbage. Um, Double Head Cabbage. Double Head Cabbage, <laughs> yes. sorry. Um, from there it leaves to Barrel Boom. And the last day ends at uh, the Belkan Bridge in it's going to the Belkan Bridge. Yeah, yeah. In, in Belize City. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Roberto, thank you for coming in this morning. Fabiola, good luck. All the best to you. Thank you. And your team. You have two new team members. How did you do the last time? I don't even know, you know. <laughs> I just <laughs> wanted to reach. <laughs> just, just reach. You yeah. wanted to finish. I didn't race. came in last, though. That yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, mm. so if you don't do the same this year, then it's your teammates' fault, not yours. Exactly. You know that, right? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> All right.
We'll say thank you, Fabiola, and of course, Roberto, come back, you'll have to update us, obviously, on how this is going to be handled. But we are, I think most of us are happy that this is I think so. Happy that, that this is a sense of normalcy yes. that we need to get back for our yes. own sanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's 7.32. We'll come back and we'll tell you how you can finance a new vehicle if you're in the tourism business. Stay with us. We'll be right back. few showers over some areas today. The forecast for today is for sunny skies with cloudy spells, along with a few showers mainly over northern and inland areas. High temperatures will be around 84 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast and at the Keys, 88 inland, but only 74 degrees up in the mountains. Winds over the open sea will be from the east at 5 to 15 knots, and the seas will be light drop. Tonight will be partly cloudy, with only isolated showers developing. The outlook is for mostly fair weather with only isolated showers on Saturday, then a few showers affect some coastal areas late Saturday night. There is a high tide at 7.54 this morning, a low at 11.59 also this morning, another high 6.15 this evening and another low at 2.16 tomorrow morning. Sunrise this morning is at 6.21, sunset this evening 5.52. The moon will set at 1.42 this afternoon and rise again at 3.20 tomorrow morning. In this sarcasm update, there is a small chance that a few sarcasm mats could drift onto local beaches during the next few days. However, only minimal impacts are expected. With that, we end this report from the Belize Weather Bureau. Belize City residents are encouraged to take advantage of the Belize City Council's 2022 property tax discounts. Save 15% when you prepay your annual property tax for any property by January 31st, 2022. Save 10% if you prepay in full by February 28th or 5% when you prepay in full by March 31st. As usual, senior citizens enjoy a 25% discount for their residents, applicable all year long. And for property tax arrears, save 50% on accured interest by settling the principal sum owed. For more information on these incentives, visit the Belize City Council's Facebook page or call City Hall at 227-3073. Your Belize City Council, always about the people. you get truly unlimited everything. Only with Smart, you get unlimited data anytime. While with the other guy, it's only double data on weekends. With unlimited data every day with Smart, there's no need to wait. So, it's a fact that our unlimited plans beat the competition. Stop being measured and told when to use your data and get unlimited talk, text, and data. Experience the true, true unlimited plans with Smart. That's a fact. Make the switch and live smart. Register now for the Belekin La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. For registration info, contact 621-1955. The Belekin La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. March 4 to March 7. It's more than just a race. This Valentine's Day, share the love for less with Cellular World. Get the best deals on our selection of electronics and find the perfect gift for that special someone. Take advantage of our phone deals starting as low as $45. Plus, we have the latest phones from Samsung, Apple, Alcatel, Xiaomi, to name a few. So whether you're looking for a tablet, smartwatch, headphone, gaming console, or speaker, we can help you share all the love for less. 
Visit us at any of our cellular world branches in Belize City, Belmopan, and San Pedro. Or WhatsApp us at 615-5141 to start saving when you shop with us this Valentine's Day. Cellular World. No prices, more choices. Let's be real. Forget the propaganda. Forget the hype. Forget the gimmicks. When it comes to beauty, only two things really matter. The value you get and how long you can stretch your dollar. That's it. Beauty is my business. It's how I feed my family. It's how I send my kids to school. What matters to you matters to me. With NGC, the quality of the beauty is better. In fact, customers say tanks last as much as two weeks longer. And the cars, it's one cars period, whether you pick it up in the north, south, or by Belmopan. One supplier, one cars, no games. This lets me compete on a fair basis, and I can then pass on better prices to you, my customers. It's as simple as that. I am Steven Bissett, and I deliver butane in the Belize district. NGC has been good for us in Belize. We welcome the transparency, we welcome the better product, and we welcome the fairness that now prevails. The National Gas Company Belize Limited, fueling Belize forward. February is all about Honda. Get up to 22% off selected Honda products in February, such as motorcycles, outboards, lawnmowers, trimmers, water pumps, and generators. Show your vehicle some love with Castro. Spend $100 or more on Castro oils and get a coupon for a free oil change. We are also offering service packages. All you have to do is purchase a Honda product or equipment and get the first three services free. Remember, it's Love Your Honda in February. So visit Benquip, three miles on the Philip Golson Highway to enjoy these great deals. Benquip, equipment, parts, service. It's that time of the year, it come again. La Ruta Maya, everybody want win. The River Challenge is a glorious thing. Who will be champion and be crown king? Roll to the left, roll to the right. La Ruta Maya, challenge of your life. Roll to the left, roll to the right. Clean up the river, make it look right. Roll to the left. Roll to the right, like we elders, back in the time The hawks work with his spirit all start All type of people come fit take part Can do like sand, make the river get pop Then silence just before the gunshot Some of them is here to watch the ceremony Some of them is here to win the big money Some of them just to be able to see that I've done it Roll to the left, roll to the right La Ruta Maya, challenge of your life Roll to the left Roll to the right, like we elders back in the time. We see them, they work out from months before. Cause them, want win this year, race to be sure. Get things prepared for what is in store. Imagine, paddling and you feel all sore. Imagine, you think you're soon done, but you got more. Roll to the left, roll to the right, like we elders back in the time. The pandemic river, this year, race to happen. Till they meet another river right round the bend. The Mopan River is this year one day. Village River created when these two blend. This road we ancestors used back then Roll to the left, roll to the right Like we elders back in the time The Belican La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge is back March 4 to March 7 It's more than just a race Good morning and welcome back once again. It's the Friday's edition of the morning show. It's Tamar and Ernesto in your company. And as usual on Fridays, the energy is a little bit more, or a lot more energetic in studio. And this morning we have uh, some very important gentlemen, I will say, and you will be able to tell just based on their suits and outfits that they are wearing this morning. 
let's welcome our friends from Belize yeah, Estate. You like guys in suits. I, I mean, it, it, cre in there's an it, it creates an impact. It you creates like an impact. Suits. It creates an impact. Hint, what can guys, I say? Hint, hint. <laughs> you know how much men are going to buy suits? Where do you buy a suit if you're in Belize? Where do you go and buy a suit? What happened to the old tailors that used to? You get it sold. You get it tailored. They still have the tailors that you buy? There's a couple, but not the prominence that they used to have there. I know. Mm. But it's a... In we have a good one on the Chemical Drive. There is a guy up on um, Simit Central American Boulevard. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get past and I think we have the Taylor Shop on, on the, the Boulevard. Yeah, the Boulevard. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's the same mm -hmm. it's good. Anyway, you were saying... Sorry yes, for I was interruption. Saying we were <laughs> welcoming our friends from <laughs> Belize Estate and Company. They are, of course, here to tell us about uh, the vehicles that they have that um, you are going to be able to take advantage, purchase. But also, there is more exciting uh, and a more exciting announcement, and I'm talking about the availability of financing at extremely competitive rates that BEC is now offering. Who is going to start telling so you? Go right ahead. All right, good morning. Thanks, Tamara. And yeah, Henry Anderson, you, uh, David Vasquez, and who else? Uh, Sanchez. Yes. Sanchez. So I am the general manager. Uh -huh. David is the assistant general manager and sales manager, and Ellis is our marketing manager. All right. right. So we're here today. Um, good morning, Belize. Good morning to our team at BC to talk about something exciting. Every time we come here, we're talking about how we are trying to reshape the automotive industry or whatever industry we're in, because BC is in several industries. Today, we are getting ready to launch, and we launch it on Monday. So happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, <laughs> financing and leasing of. Sorry? You buy your gift already? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for, I, the, for your better half? Yes, I, I bought the gift and I had to wait to see what I want to get to. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so we're we are getting ready to um, launch on Monday our financing and leasing products. You know when you watch um, American television that we have in Belize, you see these commercials that you can walk in and drive out with a vehicle mm -hmm. and you pay X amount down? Well, that happens if you look in Central America. In all the countries, that level of e client experience occurs in the automotive mm -hmm. industry. So we, we are now bringing that to Belize. Oh, right? okay. So we're not inventing it, but we're bringing <clears throat> it here. Okay. When you look at the, the market for vehicles in Belize, new vehicles sales are about, let's say, around 600. And there is approximately about 8,000 vehicles imported mm -hmm. from the U.S. in the Belize. Market. And the vast majority of those vehicles are damaged vehicles, mm -hmm. crash vehicles that they bring into body shops, you know, put lipstick on it, make it look pretty, put a big fat price, People go to the bank, they get into a thing, and then the vehicle starts to give trouble mm -hmm. because you don't know what you're buying. There's no warranty, there's nothing else, right? So we looked at this and said, you know what? Let's look at how we can make things better. You know, BEC is part of the Boeing and Boeing group of companies. Mm -hmm. And the mission statement for the group is to pursue excellence for a stronger Belize. Small statement, but very powerful. So we're looking at how can we make it more equitable and more affordable for Belizeans to get vehicles if you have new vehicles, right, it's, it, the cost of operation goes down, but also the impact on the environment and everything else is better. You, less, they're more fuel efficient. You know, you don't need as much foreign exchange to go buy parts. It's safer, it's more comfortable, and, and all that nine yards. So essentially, we are launching two products where you can come in and buy the vehicle on terms if you want to buy to own, so right, financing, or if you want to lease the vehicle. Now, leasing vehicles might be something new, but you have some people who don't want to deal with the stress of having to sell the vehicle at the end of when it's time to change. Mm -hmm. okay. You don't know who to sell it to. You lose money off of it. Mm -hmm. Or you may want to drive a vehicle, but you can't really afford that level. But if you lease it because you're only paying to use it for, let's say, three years, mm -hmm. you know, and it comes under warranty with everything paid for it, then the, 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 rates are, the um, payments are more affordable. If you're an older person that you figure that at this time in your life you, you need a vehicle, but you don't need to own a new vehicle, then you can lease it. If you are going away and moving away in three years and you want a vehicle before. So there are many different reasons. Yeah. If you're a business and you, want to, you need vehicles, um, but you don't want to tie up all of your capital, then come in. Obviously, conditions apply and you have to have the wherewithal to be able to own a vehicle. And um, Ellis will talk about that. Now, we are introducing this with some new vehicles from our Renault line. And we decided to start with the Renault line because that's our line of vehicles that, you know, they're exciting. They have good price points. So I'll pass it over to Dave to talk about the Duster Rocks. Well, thank you for that, Mr. Anderson. Um, 
as he had mentioned, we're starting off with the Renault line. Um, primarily, the products are a mix of SUVs, and in this essence, we're featuring today a compact truck that I got the opportunity to test drive with Tamar. Um, the Renault line is a quality Oh, yeah, she's been boasting about product. that yeah, yes, since morning. Yes, she's been talking about oh, it. Oh, that's right. Okay. So we're expecting yeah. her to call, be one of the first callers on, yeah. on yeah. Monday. <laughs> so as, as Mr. Anderson mentioned, the Renault line is quite affordable. I mean, when people, there are certain precepts people go after for buying a new vehicle. One is re reliability, and the other one is affordability. And along there, there's other things which they look for, the aesthetics, the, you know, the fuel efficiency, other little things. But it, primarily those precepts are the two main things that people look for in purchasing a vehicle. We feel that the Renault line offers both in, in spades and you, Tamar can, you know, as we can show from the video of us test driving, the Renault Duster Oroc, which is a compact, one of first of its kind, unique to Belize in terms of a compact pickup truck with an automatic transmission. So it's, it's if we could show that the video. Too. I watched it. Yes, it's you like that? Nice right. Renault is a brand from, from, from France. It's yeah. one of France's leading automotive manufacturers. The, um, the products range from Renault SUVs, as I've mentioned, to small lot. cars and, of course, pickup trucks. This particular product is, is an incredible little product, a, a small, utilitarian, but quite attractive pickup truck. Let's hit the video and see a little bit about it. It's like the perfect hybrid of SUV meets off-road pickup truck. Imagine if your standard five-seater SUV also boasted a 4.4 feet long pan and was capable of transporting up to 1,499 pounds. What they've done is take the Duster SUV and take the platform that it's built upon and it basically extend it where it could be. Instead of that standard cargo space you'd get inside, you're getting an external cargo space while not limiting at any time the space you have on the interior, right? But the form and functionality, both are separate. I mean, from the form side, it's a beautiful little pickup truck, excellent ground clearance. So whilst it is an SUV, it gives you that, from an SUV platform, it gives you the clearance of a truck whereby you have enough Space driving over by very roads. very good for our roads in Belize. Well, if our roads everything are from right? yeah, so our roads are improving, but we still have like the sleeping policemen. Oh, yes, yes. We still have. Um, are you one of those people who run over the sleeping policemen? <laughs> I always forget that they're there. <laughs> Best of both worlds for the sporty mob, the adventure traveler, the businessman, the mover and shaker. The standard features present in the new Arush Duster include hydraulic steering, electric locks. Steering wheel and driver's seat with height adjustment, air conditioning, 16-inch alloy wheels, CD player with USB and Bluetooth, touchscreen features, electric windows and latches, alarm, audio controls on the steering wheel, plus an eco mode that ensures fuel efficiency in city limits. Talking about everything, you know, seating, space, Visibility on the road is an, another important one, right? So whilst we're here, you know, especially when you're deciding, hey, we want to pony up and we're going to hit the road going to Cayo or to Placencia or anything, any long drive. Safety, security, this vehicle is one of the safest vehicles. If you want to speed up and overtake or anything, it has good power, shifts excellently. It's mated with a nice 46-speed automatic transmission. So when I like that. And its strongest selling point has to be its cost-benefit, priced at just over $58,000. What are some of the main requirements um, for an individual well, to be able to qualify? First of all, we need to know you. Okay. So we need to get some personal information which inquires your address, your location, your, your validity in the sense that you are registered, that you ask for pretty standard, pretty standard but... stuff that you normally ask. It is straightforward. It's no different than what you get in the back. It's a lot less stringent than if you go to a standard learning institution because we're not asking you for your blood type. <laughs> you know, your, <laughs> the various things that you may be concerned about, right? So, um, would you say the payments are more comfortable for? for well, at, when we, it starts off, really, the determining factor of that is your interest rate. And obviously, mm -hmm. at the interest rate, which we are offering a very attractive interest rate, it's seven years at 7%. And, and that is 100% financing. Uh, and you had asked earlier, is it 100% or not? Yeah. 
a down payment is not required, but having equity in any sort of lending process okay. really strengthens you from several aspects. It makes your payment, your monthly payments are lesser, and mm -hmm. it also shows the lender that you are a, qualified, a more qualified and serious applicant. And now through BEC, financing is available, making this compact Renault truck, as well as their other models, more available to Belizeans. <laughs> We quite enjoyed the experience. Uh, you know, testing it with Tamar was 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 incredible. But f featuring the vehicle and showing all of the the amenities it has to offer obviously makes it an attractive vehicle for first time buyers. Mm -hmm. um, the price point is right there in terms. I think what people are looking for. You know, a, a lot of people are, are are looking for cars that can be within a range of at and around thirty five to possibly sixty thousand dollars as a especially as a first car. You know, this vehicle offers a versatility for first-time buyers, not just because of space and size. Of course, it can fit a family of four quite comfortably. It has the luggage capacity in the back. Small companies that need a utilitarian type vehicle to carry, you know, stuff in the back, equipment, goods, anything like that. So this is a vehicle that will take well, we feel, will take well to the market. Now, when it, uh, as it relates to the financing, are you piloting with a specific group um, for the fin or is it just open and available to anybody who qualifies? It's open and available to anybody who qualifies. Okay. Um, David and Ellis were on here, I believe, last week mm -hmm. talking about the program we have for the BTV. Uh -huh. yeah. right? um, yeah. But we have been doing on a case-by-case -case basis with the B2B business sector where we, for example, we lease forklifts because we also sell forklifts. So we, we do that um, and we look at you know, the investment that it requires by us and, and what's the, the payback, and, and we're open to do that, yes. So Ellis, basically... Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Go, no, I'm sorry. No. I was going to ask Ellis something, yeah. so you go ahead. Ellis, the financing of this now is, uh, instead of dealing with a bank, because this is what was marketed first by, by the car dealers here, you go to a bank, make a loan, get a car. Now you're, you're going to leasing directly from BC. That's what, is that basically what you're doing? Yes. <clears throat> good morning, you all. Uh, good morning, Belize. Um, again... This is a, a great program for us and a great program for Belize. And um, we're looking at it at a holistic way to provide mobility to our customers. Um, it's done in-house, so you're not necessarily getting a loan from us. You're getting a vehicle on payment terms. So that is completely different than for us to say, okay, well, we're giving a loan to you. So you get a vehicle, get an opportunity to um, drive around in a 2022 model um, later on along the year we would have 2023 models available and of course the the leasing and the financing is open to all models that we carry at BEC for right now since we have the Renault brand of products on the lot that is the one that we um, have started with okay. so it's going to be open to all types of um, vehicle mix and models that we carry whether it be Ford the Kia um, the Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram all right, um, so that's what we're here to, to let customers know. All right. Now, uh, when it comes down right. to the financing aspect off of it, uh, it's all about getting to know you as a, as a customer. And things that we ask for is nothing that would be unconventional of anybody that you would want to engage in a risk relationship with. So the biggest aspect for us, though, is to understanding that you're financially sung that you will be able to pay or afford this um, this car note on a monthly basis how, so do, how do I how do I prove that how do I show well that, um, financial what we will ask you for is for your financial information and records and we would hope and we're out here doing this on a case-by-case -case basis that when the customer engages with us or engages with Dave that they be fully open and transparent when it comes mm -hmm. down to their financial position mm -hmm because that is important to us. We want to ensure that you have the wherewithal to pay back this, uh, pay this vehicle off. And of course, uh, we don't want to be putting any of our customers in a position that they can't afford it. I guess so, you will ask me for like a bank history. Right, we will Obviously, ask you for a bank history. You know, we will go through yes, right. your Salary, employment yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. We will go through your, your income and your expenses with mm -hmm. you. So it's to not only you know provide you with uh, a vehicle on note, but it's also to maybe open your eyes to a, a financial capability that you might not realize going through your income and expenses on a monthly basis, seeing areas in which you might have a surplus income, or if you 
have um, less of a surplus income, then mm -hmm. we have different vehicles and different models for you to choose from. So we will definitely work with you. Like our Kia cars that we have, those are at lower price points than the dust or rub. So we'll be able to advise you and say, hey, at this moment in time, you're, you, you are able to afford, let's say, a monthly payment of maybe $600. Mm -hmm. In a two or three years time from that, from now, you might be in a better financial position. And at that time, if you want to bring on back your vehicle and do an upgrade, right. we'll be open to that suggestion as well too. So it's to definitely work with our customers for the long haul. It sounds um, like a good plan. Right. Sounds, sounds like a very good plan. We've always needed that, I think. We always watch TV, like you said, and you, know, you can go and lease a vehicle, update yeah. it as you go along. And it helps both the, the country and it helps the, the buyer. And uh, Ellis so touch, touched on something that it's, it's a relationship we're building. So when, when you engage with BC, we're selling you mobility. We're not selling you the vehicle, the mobility and the client experience. And we, you know, we say that BC is around for 147 years, right? Went through two pandemic, well, one and going through the second. So you're guaranteed for our car at least the next 100 well, years. Well, we, we intend for it to be around, and we'll be around too for the next 100, right? And um, wearing these same suits. And when you come in and you work with us, it's a financial relationship you're starting. So as you grow, we were talking how we get old and you go mm -hmm. through the wedding and the marriage and the divorce sometimes yeah. and having the kids and everything else. Life as you goes on, yeah. Progress through life, BC will be there with you taking care of your mobility needs. And, you know, as you go from the Picanto, if that's it, to, you know, driving the Bronco or the F-150 or maybe the Mercedes someday, then we will be there with Did you. At first you said that the Renault is the one you're launching this with, but at least you mentioned that the Kia might be included at this point as well? I think it's all the lines. Um, all the lines. You're excluding so the it depends on your, yes. how much you want to pay. and right. Yes, it, it, it depends on your capability, your financial right. capabilities. Right. And so, your tests, right. of course. Uh, we, have a, we have vehicle lines that cover the full spectrum. I mean, from the Renaults to the Kias, all the way up to the Fords. And now we are the dealers for Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. So those are included as well, too. So there's a price point all the way through, Ernesto. All right. Um, just just to give you a little bit of a boost here. Well, I, I've always I've been the consul for France, so the Renault vehicle is something that piques my interest, and I've always wanted to own one. Okay. And I've seen them in Europe, the, in China, India. Yeah. And I just came up here, and it says our Renault vehicle cars reliable. Yeah. It says Renault are a pretty reliable car brand. They have been consistently dependable over the years. And besides that, as you know, Renault is now in partnership with Nissan. Yes. Right. So with, with, with Nissan so and Mitsubishi. There's quality there. Mm -hmm. Well, when you look at racing, right, um, Renault is one yeah, of the yeah. big, big names in auto racing. So they have high-performance engines. And, you know, Tamar didn't really drive the Well, that's what I was going to come back to. I thought she would have, she would have, you know, get she would have realized that You'd that have to go and chase her down and bring her back, you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Well, I mean, it so, was a... But Ernesto, Valentine's is on Monday, so get two, one for you, one for your wife, you know. And and hope, maybe sh she can buy you something. She buy me one and I buy she one. Well, that, that's yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> Matching that's, cars. Can work something matching cars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Couple goals. Uh, but it, it, what if I came to you and I said, um, well, this is what I've been paying for the last... Everybody, mostly that owns a car driving around, is obviously paying, making payments mm -hmm. on the vehicle. And that's your history. That would help, wouldn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Would it be because I'm not going? Is it the would the financing be a little more modest? I don't want to use the word cheaper. It doesn't fit the the, the, the sale. <laughs> We're dealing with cars here, but would your 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 financing, which they call their or the interest, be a little more modest than doing it through a financial institution than doing it through yourselves? We, we have some flexibility right now, as, as David mentioned, we're looking at around 6-7%, mm. um, which is very competitive. Very um, competitive. We don't have the fees, the, the, all the fees that mm -hmm. you get tied up with, and we have a quicker turnaround time. That's what I was right. getting at. Yeah. There should but be, there should again, be a little more you know, If you come in and you put a down payment and you do then, those are things that we look at and, and mm. we work with you. As we said, we're building a relationship, right? We're looking after your mobility needs. That, that's the interest yeah. for us. Sounds like a plan, and it's about time we get into the 21st century when it comes to buying vehicles. Yes. So we have new ones, and like you said, the, because I was going to ask you, what are you going to do with the with the with the used vehicles? So you'll open up another market there. Open another market. 
right, yeah. right. everything. It's a it's a cycle, and again, to the used car market, there the reality is there are people who can only afford vehicles in that sector, and one of the benefits of buying from us is you know you'll get a dealer certified pre-owned vehicle that is properly tested, properly inspected, properly updated to make it re you know ready for a new buyer. Yeah, the car you are driving tomorrow, mm -hmm. would you call it a chick magnet? A chick magnet? I mean, I would get in it. I mean, I, would, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't even I was mind. driving it and so you I would, 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 would get in the pun. I mean, <laughs> 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 so I would say yes. Because you have SUVs as well, you mentioned. Yes. You know. yes. 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 And these are the smaller, mid-sized SUVs. Yeah, you know, Renault primarily plays in the, the, the mid-sized to compact mm -hmm. region. It's not a large car manufacturer yeah. or a large SUV manufacturer, but the, the vehicles are very attractive, yeah. they're full of yeah. tech. Very safe, very reliable, as Ernesto pointed the, the, out. The, the Oroch gives what's the mileage on it? The Oroch gives well over 30 miles per gallon wow. in terms of a, so of a small 2.0 liter four cylinder gasoline engine. Right. Very but, fuel efficient, but, but, good I, I, power. Tamar tested you know, the power you know, and she was quite. Let me be very honest with you. My one of my most lasting impressions of the vehicle is how practical it is. I mean, how many of us have been on road trips and you, know, you get in the, the car with two or three, maybe four people, and there's no space to put your kit bag itself, your crump. So I think it's really it's perfect for people who especially appreciate some adventure. And who mm -hmm. want to be practical mm -hmm. about spacing and, and things like that. And so mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. my initial thought. And also another thing that stood out was how very, I don't know if this is a quality with, with new vehicles because I'm so used to getting into vehicles that are maybe like pre-owned or so on. But they, they, how smooth it drives was something that really, really stood out to me. That's so the engineering quality that, okay. that Renault brings, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it can come with a tonneau cover as an accessory yes. so you could close the back yeah. when you have stuff in there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's possible as well. Sounds like a plan, gentlemen. Right. The, the right. Picantos are what, like 52 miles per gallon, right? The little Kia cars. Upwards of 40 miles per gallon, okay. yeah. So, we, you, you know, there are those vehicles, and those would be probably around, what, 600 the $600 range per month kind of thing. It, it looks like it's, um, when you look at the... You know, the Picantos, um, tomorrow you'll be able to drive a vehicle around Belize for about $25 a day, basically Excellent. speaking with that. Um, and, you know, if currently... You know, somebody that doesn't own a vehicle and might need to get a taxi to and from work. Mm -hmm. And that taxi cost is probably around $7 or $8 mm -hmm. either way. You're already more than half of that. I spend about $20 a day on taxi. See, there you sometimes, go. Sometimes so there you more. go. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're you need to get a car. I'm buying a car. <laughs> I, had, I mean, um, those are not always reliable. <laughs> <laughs> Do well, not so, recommend. <laughs> well, somebody told me yesterday one of the best price, uh, one of the best gifts they want for for um, for uh, Valentine's, a tank of gas. Really? Yeah. If you really love somebody, <laughs> there's a meme that would appreciate yeah. better well, the price of if gas. If you want right to give an expensive <laughs> gift, you give a tank of gas. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's in a red bottle, though. Of course. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there you go. Is that All right. in a champagne bottle gas or? That's that's a that giveaway. That's actually a giveaway. You, you can go back to your office and listen, and you can. Yeah. Remember it. All right. You'll have to sing a song or something, but. For you know, Valentine's. Oh boy, there won't be yeah. Valentine's if I. Sing. <laughs> 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 End of times. Uh, uh, so you know, persons might be wondering how how can they take advantage of this um, initiative? Well, there's a. We need to reach out to us and, and contact us so that we can know. Reach out to Dave. Um, call us on our numbers, 223-0641, or send us an email mm -hmm. at info at pecbz.com. And scheduling an appointment so that, you know, we have the availability of the time to sit down and talk to you. Um, these things are important for you to, for us to get a feel of our, of our clients and understand your, your financial position. And, of course, you know, go through your options um, to ensure that, you'll be able to, um, to afford the monthly payments mm -hmm. and drive around yeah. in, a, in a 2022 yeah. model. It has the highest level of technology, of course, um, and safety, the, the security features, and the aesthetics. Um, so we're looking forward to Tamar presenting herself and becoming one of the first applicants uh, on this Renault product uh, since her and Dave Tamar did a, said did you a should, nice test drive. Give her one complimentary, you know, if she starts driving one, your sales would go up. We'll talk, we'll talk, guys. I'll come visit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, General Manager Henry Anderson, um, Deputy General Manager David Vasquez, and in charge of uh, um, marketing, is your marketing, marketing Ellis Sanchez from BC. And, of course, uh, financing a vehicle, a new vehicle is now available in this country.
We'll be right back with more. We'll change the mood a little bit. We are going to go into more into the Valentine mood. Some we have Valentine a, entertainment. A saxophonist will come here and play us some music. You can win some prizes. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Enterprises or SMEs in tourism are invited to submit proposals for financial incentives under the Matching Grant Program or MGP. The MGP is an activity under the Sustainable Tourism Program which provides funding to support projects that are beneficial to tourism, including COVID prevention, environmental, skills development, technology investment, marketing or economic development. Targeted sectors include accommodation, food and beverage, transportation, travel trade, events and conferences, adventure and attractions, tourism services, tourism education and training, and other tourism-related services. Interested SMEs must complete and submit the required expression of interest forms for assessment and eligibility by February 21 at 4 p.m. Submit your expression of interest today. For more information, WhatsApp 67 Grant or 6747268. Email grant.unit at the least tourism board org. Come again, La Ruta Maya, everybody want win. The river talent is a glorious thing. Who will be champion and be crown king? Row to the left, row to the right. La Ruta Maya, challenge your life. Row to the left, row to the right. Clean up the river, make it look right. Row to the left, row to the right. Like we elders, back in the time. The hawks were bridges, we read our start. All type of people come for deck part. Can do like sand, make the river get pop. Then silence just before the gunshot. Some of them is here to watch the ceremony. Some of them is here to win the big money. Some of them just to be able to say that I've done it. Row to the left, row to the right. La Ruta Maya, challenge of your life. Row to the left, row to the right. Like we elders, back in the time. We see them, the work out from months before. Cause them want win this year. Race up be sure, get things prepared for what is in store. Imagine paddling and you feel all sore. Imagine you think you're soon done, but you got more. Row to the left, row to the right, like we elders back in the time. The pandemic a river, this a race a happen. Till you meet another river right round the bend. The Mopan River is this a one name. Village River created when these two blend. This route we ancestors used back then. Row to the left. Row to the right, like we elders back in the time. The Benekin La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge is back. March 4 to March 7. It's more than just a race. Are you planning to start a garden? Does your car need to be clean? Don't worry, the Life Skills Multi Purpose Group got you covered. If you don't have a car to wash, the Life Skills Multipurpose Group has cars on sale at very affordable prices. We also have cement blocks on sale with skilled masons and carpenters ready to do that driveway, fence or demolition. But wait, there's more. We also have reliable plumbers waiting for your call because no job is too big or too small for us. So call us at 614-4596 or visit us at 12 Caesar Ridge Road, Belize City, near the Port of Belize. The Youth Ambassador Program is looking for youth participants and a mentor to take part in an exciting cultural and educational exchange. This program is geared towards youths who demonstrate leadership potential and are involved in community activities. To be eligible, youth applicants must be between the ages of 15 and 18, have at least one semester of high school left after September 2022, demonstrate leadership potential and community involvement, and must be able to travel to the U.S. A parent or legal guardian must grant permission for travel or be able to do the program online. All adult educator applicants 
must be Belizeans or resident of Belize and actively work with youth in a high school or community setting. Be willing and able to meet periodically with youth participants after the exchange to support and monitor civic engagement projects. Applications are open until February 18th. Apply online at youthambassadorsprogram.org or contact us at beliziap at gmail.com for more information or assistance with the application process. Apply today! The Youth Ambassador Program is a collaboration between the Love Foundation, U.S. Embassy, Georgetown University, and World Learning Inc. Success is often as a result of hard work and unlimited enthusiasm. We did everything with people in mind. To uplift, inspire, and inform Belize and Belizeans. And to educate and empower the nation, one community at a time. Service to our people is paramount. Love FM. 29 years of dependability and commitment to excellence for Belize and Belizeans. An enthusiasm for improved service delivery. A spirit of community development using modern technology. Belize and beyond. Thanks for choosing love. Register now for the Belekin La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. For registration info, contact 621-1955. The Belican La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge, March 4 to March 7. It's more than just a race. Welcome back, welcome back. It's the Friday edition of The Morning Show. And not just any Friday edition, this is the pre-Valentine Day uh, in-studio celebrations happening. 
and um, it's Ernesto and I in your company. You don't don't be looking at these. Like a secret admirer dropped these off for me. <laughs> 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 no, actually, these are some of the giveaways that we will be uh, giving to some of our, our callers and winners this morning because we have some questions that we'll be asking. Um, and some ways that you can participate, so you'll want to stay tuned for that. We actually have more. That's, um, and these are great prizes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, this today. Yeah. All right. Hello. We have uh, from a dinner for two at Midtown. We have a dinner for two at a tavern. Plus bottles of wine or, wine, or, or sparkling. Wine, jewelry. We have some jewelry. Let me just show you. Let me tell you. Anything that comes in a box like this, it says, I love you, okay? <laughs> so... <laughs> You know, they say it, 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 the, the, the smaller the box, mm -hmm. the more precious mm -hmm. it is. And uh, we're going to be starting off this segment with some good music from uh, in studios with us. We have saxophonist Earl Henderson. Good morning. Good morning, Earl. Good morning. Good morning, Earl. Good morning, Earl. Good morning. Earl is a retired Belizean American, returned home after 52 years of living in New York. And he was, uh, Earl, you were a police officer in New York? No, I used to run to work with the um, bank. Is that what you call it? <laughs> Brinks. Okay, Brinks. Oh, Brinks. Oh, Brinks. Uh, okay, okay. You did. You delivered all these b big bags of money. Okay. Did you Did you drive the armored vehicle? No. You or oh, you were one of ah. the guards. Oh, I see. You didn't have any exciting moment like you know, like somebody try to rob you guys and. A you? lot. A lot. Wow. You did? Wow, wow, wow. Really? Oh, we have to hear, listen to some of those stories. And you also played in a band? In yes, I, I owned the band, the new release mm. band. The new release band. Was this a Belizean style band or yeah, was it Yes, American? but we played mostly in the West Indian community. We played for Belize functions. Mm. Okay. okay. And the band is mixed, a mixture of musicians. Also, when you left for New York, was it always your intention to return? To be honest with you then, no. No. After so many years passed and passed and... Then you you decided then you did. didn't want to stay. To you stay you lived all your life while you were in the U.S. in New York. Yeah. New York City. Okay. And uh, I suspect you left a family there or... Well, my kids, they are everybody grown. Everybody came back. Anybody? No, my kids, they're grown and gone. Yeah. Yeah. They're there. You know, it's so interesting, Earl. You had to be a pretty tough guy, the kind of job that you had. Um, but at the same you time, you little? yeah. But then but here like you are romantic? playing these sweet romantic love songs. I mean, that shows quite a lot of layers in your personality. Why do you think music? Or, I hear this phrase a lot. Music is the food of love, right? Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Why do you think music and and love is such a perfect match? It depends on the kind of music you play. You know, you you have all type of music. Mm -hmm. Now there's a there's a time for everything. Mm -hmm. There's a place for everything with the music. And what happened when I started, I started home in, in Boom when I was like uh, nine years old. No, that, that's okay. Go ahead. I was playing in the yard under the mango tree. I got five sisters and myself. What did you say? In Boom? In Boom, yeah. Also uh, from Boom? Yeah. Okay. I had problems with my sisters then, with the knives and the plane. They say, get the hell out of the house, go under the mango tree. <laughs> but I dealt with it. I dealt with it all through the season. So there was one time comes when Lord Rayburn was looking for a saxophonist. Mm -hmm. He was on the radio. Well, he sent for a guy by the name of Paul Gray. Uh, he says he can do it. He came and looked for me. He came to me and he says, Rayburn want a horn player. I said to him, I said, <laughs> How old were you then? Uh, at that time, I was about 15, 15, 15, when I started playing okay. with nine. Uh -huh. And I tell him, I said, I don't think I'm, I'm good enough for that. Uh -huh. He said, go give it a try. I went, I came to the city and I said, Raven. I tell him, uh, he says, okay, let me talk to Pablo Clark. Uh -huh. And he spoke with Pablo Clark and Pablo says, well, you know what, let me see what, I can, what we can do. I'm going to drill, drill you a little bit. So he started drilling me for a while. And my first, my first big dance was Riverside Hall. So you he, played with Rayburn? For close to a year. OK. Interesting. And, and do, you, do you still talk to Rayburn today? Oh, yeah, we, is, we, we is like this. 
Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, and and, and the, the good old days. I pray for I pray for his wife. Uh, oh yeah, funeral. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just want to tell the listeners and viewers. Um, we'll ask Earl to play a song for us shortly. That song is Nikita, and the first prize we'll be giving away today is a gift certificate at the Riverside Tavern. And you'll also get a $75 value bottle of wine from the Fine Taste. Now what we'll ask you to do is, after the song plays, you can call us. Of course, our numbers are 203-2098, 203-2281, or 203-0528. Now Nikita is a song about, uh, done by Elton John. Yeah. And he sings about a girl that he couldn't meet because I think it's, at that time you had the wall between East and West Germany, but it's a song that caught on all over the world. It was number one for a while. So after the song is finished, anybody wants to win this prize, uh, dinner or lunch at Riverside Tavern and a great bottle of wine from The Fine Taste, all you have to do is sing us part of that song and you can win this. Earl, Take let's hear away. Nikita. Oops. You're watching television and listening to the radio on Love FM and Love Television. Thank you. 
Awesome. Pizza. Excellent. Now you can call us right now. We need to go to break, but we'll give you a few minutes right now if anyone wants to call us and win this gift certificate for dinner or lunch at the Riverside Tavern. And you also get a bottle of wine, wine valued at 75 bucks from the Fine Taste. All you need to do now is sing us a short piece of Nikita, and you can win this fabulous prize. In the meantime, you know, it is the season of love. I know. You think, you think men take this as, in, as, as seriously, seriously as, as women, women do? do? They better. <laughs> because, <laughs> let me just say, you don't want your girlfriend to be disappointed on, on Valentine's Day. All right, we have a caller here. Good morning, caller. Good morning. Welcome. You do? Good morning. I respond to the song. Okay, go ahead. Good morning, dear. Oh, Nikki, sir, you will never know anything about my home. I never know how good it feels to hold you. Nikki, sir, I need you so. Oh, Nikki, where is the other side? Of any given life, counting fancy soldiers in the hood. Oh no, Nikita, you never know. Excellent. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I mean, that was awesome. And, and they had a compliment <laughs> and everything. Alrighty, uh, what's your name there? Hi. No. She'll have to call back. Please call us, us back. I don't know. We got the line name. got cut off. Yeah, we need your name. And I uh, will tell you how you can claim your prize. Yeah. Well, what we'll do meanwhile, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back. We'll continue. And of course, we'll have more, more music by Earl and well. we have uh, more giveaways. We have a piece of jewelry to give away. Oh, that's correct. We'll be right back. It's that time of the year, it come again La Ruta Maya, everybody want win The River Challenge is a glorious thing Who will be champion and be crown king? Row to the left, row to the right La Ruta Maya, challenge of your life Row to the left, row to the right Clean up the river, make it look right Row to the left, row to the right Like we elders, back in the time The Hawks were bridge is where it all start All type of people come for take part Can do like sand and make the river get popped Then silence just before the gunshot Some of them is here to watch the ceremony Some of them is here to win the big money Some of them just to be able to say that I've done it Row to the left, row to the right La Ruta Maya, challenge your life Row to the left, row to the right Like we elders, back in the time We see them, they work out from months before Cause them, want win this year, race to be sure Get things prepared for what is in store Imagine, paddling on your feel out Sore. Imagine you think you're soon done, but you got more. Row to the left, row to the right, like we elders. Back in the time, the Pandemaka River, this a race to happen. Till they meet another river right round the bend. The Mopan River is the Shawan name. Village River is created when this two blend. This road we ancestors used back then. Row to the left, row to the right, like we elders. Back in the time. The Belican La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge is back. March 4 to March 7. It's more than just a race.
Bear of Belize. Commercial cleaning and products of Belize, CTP, formerly known as Carpet Care Plus, offers a wide variety of professional restorative cleaning services and products in Belize. With over 20 years of experience in the industry, our mission has always been to provide our customers with the best products and services for quality, safe, and environmentally friendly cleaning. What separates us from the rest? The services we offer. Fabric cleaning for all types of carpets, upholstery, walls, and drapes. Vehicle detailing for both the interior and exterior. Total restorative cleaning of ceramic and porcelain tiles for floors, walls, marble, granite, limestone, travertine, clay, and more. Degreasing and polishing of the entire kitchen and all its equipment. Also, custom concrete designs. We are a supplier of the most cost-efficient and economically viable products when you buy our specialized super-concentrated formulas, such as cleaners, disinfectants, deodorizers, and sanitizers. Additionally, we also carry professional cleaning equipment, such as mops, buckets, vacuums, doormats, and window equipment, which are very durable and practical. You can order any of our products online at www.ccpbelize.com. CCP Belize uses only trained technicians, professional commercialized equipment, and EPA certified products. Our products are 100% biodegradable. We also have certified green products, which are used by Green Globe approved companies. Visit us at 68 North Front Street, Belize City, or contact us at telephone 223-1820. Email us info at ccpbelize.com. Register now for the Belekin La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. For registration info, contact 621-1955. The Belekin La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. March 4 to March 7. It's more than just a race. Success is often as a result of hard work and unlimited enthusiasm. We did everything with people in mind. To uplift, inspire, and inform Belize and Belizeans. And to educate and empower the nation, one community at a time. Service to our people is paramount. Love FM, 29 years of dependability and commitment to excellence for Belize and the Belizeans. An enthusiasm for improved service delivery. A spirit of community development using modern technology. And beyond, thanks for choosing love. Back. Welcome back. We are having such a great time in studio this morning. We are enjoying some musical entertainment. It's feeding our mm. mood for love and we are also giving away some pretty awesome uh, We are going to give gifts. away another prize, right? You have a piece of jewelry. Yes, I do. It's, it's uh, a let me, I want to show it. Heart earrings from uh, Jewelry Galore and yes. also a floral arrangement it actually comes from Zam's with the shop. matching. Ooh, with the matching um, I don't now know to win know. this, we'll ask Earl first to play a little bit of music. And the question is, why is February 14th called Valentine's Day? Why is it Valentine's Day? You can what, look it up while we are listening to the music. And as we finish with that, you call us and you can win yourself this awesome prize. Earl, I think you're playing something called the Daniel Earl Instrumental. Thank 
That, um, that was an uh, instrumental by Daniel Earl, uh, and we just had a rendition by uh, Earl Henderson here in Love FM Studio just for your listening pleasure. And once again, the question is, why is February 14 called Valentine's Day? And you win yourself a floral arrangement as well as an incredible jewelry set, courtesy of... Uh, it's such a beautiful they're called, name. They're, they're, from, they're called... Uh, from Jewelry Galore. Jewelry Galore, yes. Yeah. You have the necklace and earrings, Yes, right? I do. It comes with yeah. an earring set. And we also have a few more pieces. If we get a chance, we'll be yeah. giving all of yeah, all them of it away. away yeah. Okay, call us 203-298-203-2281-203-0528. Um, Earl, I understand you, you, you have a, a bank? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Hello, Carla. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, there. Um, it's called Valentine's Day after the Saint Valentine, who was a Catholic priest who lived in Rome. Okay. okay. All right. Um, during the Middle Ages, um, February 14th was the beginning of the birth mating season, which added the idea that the middle of Valentine's Day should be a day for Romance. All right. You, uh, um, I hope you're enjoying your Valentine's. You have a Valentine? Yes, I am. You are? Yes, my husband of five years. Okay, Beautiful. there you go. <laughs> five years. All right. Uh, what's your name, my dear? Priscilla Stephen. Priscilla? Stephen. Priscilla Stephen. All right, Priscilla. Um, the something phones are a little busy. <laughs> no, we, we, the phone went off, you notice? Yeah. Something is happening with our line. It's it's only allowing the caller to call. Anyway, Priscilla, Stephen, uh, you pick up your prize right here at Love uh, Studios. Try to do so today before five. Yeah, pick so it, you pick have it up. time for Valentine's. You get your floor arrangement from the Zams for our shop and uh, the jewelry from Jewelry Galore. So, Priscilla, Stephen, thank you for calling us this morning and happy Valentine's Day to you. Pick up your price here and, of course, bring your ID. We continue the show this morning. Yeah, yeah, Earl, I understand you, you're owner of a bank. <laughs> yeah, Henderson Bank. Oh, Henderson Bank. <laughs> That's on the Ruta Maya Road, right? That's where the Ruta Maya is supposed to be. All right. Okay, see, there you go. Well, we'll continue, of course. Now, we have uh, another giveaway. And it's a gift certificate for, for dinner for two at Midtown Restaurant mm -hmm. and a bottle of wine, sparkling, sparkling wine. wine. Sparkling wine. This one that I'm holding right here, you get mm -hmm. to take this one home. And um, it's from the Oasis at Madisco. That's the right. Oasis Beverage uh, Spirits now, and Wine Center. It's very important that you pick up your Mid Tongue gift certificate dinner for two before five today because this is only valid uh, from the 11th to the 14th. This is for the Valentine season. Yes, it right. is. So. Yeah. It, it's going to be great to take advantage of this offer this weekend. So. Earl is going to play for us as he fue. And, of course, if you want to win this uh, gift certificate at Midtown and this excellent sparkling wine from the Oasis at Madisco. These are the questions. You call us. Um, you call us. 
And I think you, you sing a, a verse, right? Actually, I would like them to name two unique things that you can do for okay. your special someone this Valentine's Day. But when I say unique, I mean that I don't want it to include going to a restaurant, flowers, or chocolates. So if you didn't have those three options, flowers, chocolate, or dining at a restaurant, what is something special, something unique okay. that you can do with or for your lover? You, you named something very interesting um, <laughs> at the beginning of the show. Uh, not we're yet. We have to play the song first. We have to play the song first. All right. Let's get into the song. Así fue by Earl Henderson and the saxophone. one. favorites uh, you know no matter what language mm -hmm. you speak this is one song that caught on you remember what as, does asifwe as mean as we, it, it, um, it's like that that what happened or that's the past ah you so see? this one is a sad love song because it's a sad love song actually he's breaking up with one <laughs> so, so because of the other one we have a yeah, caller we have a all right <laughs> hello Carlo. good morning give us your Hi, name good morning i want to answer the question Okay. Yes, go ahead. What's your name? Uh, Leonora Novello. What? Leonora Novello. Leonora, Leonora Novello. Leonora Novello. Okay, give us the answer. Um, well, for me, I would um, so spend quality family time because I have a young son. Okay. I would um, make breakfast in the morning and in the evening time go and watch the sunset. Wow. What? <laughs> Suppose in the rain, where do you do? Well, I will watch your rain come down. I mean, that's perfect snuggle to time anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, Leonora, thank you for that. And uh, you, you win yourself, of course. Uh, gift certificate to Midtown Restaurant. Dinner for two. And, uh, uh, dinner for two and a bottle of sparkling wine from the Oasis at Madisco. No. Thank you. You have, but you have to pick up the... Yes, you need to pick up the gift certificate before five today. 
Sorry, no problem. All okay, right. and bring your ID. I will, thanks. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling. I had to do a little faster because the phone seems to be cutting off the, the callers. All right. And I just want to mention um, the caller that won the, f the first prize that we gave away. We were able to reach her. Okay. The folks behind the scenes were able right. to do that. And uh, the winner is Sonia Bennett. Sonia so Bennett. Congratulations ah, that was to you. Excellent. Yeah. That was great. That was great. We loved her, her, her um, singing performance, especially that she included some music in it. All right, well, we have more music and we have more giveaways. We, we have, have more one, giveaways. More giveaway, one more giveaway um, for this morning. And this one, we're going to be pairing a heart-shaped earring, once again, courtesy of Jewelry Galore. Um, these are stunning, by the way. Look, take a look. look these are nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. And uh, a heart-shaped mm. bracelet as well. This one is crusted with diamonds, um, or crystals, wow. I should say. Crystals. Uh -huh. <laughs> Check it out. Yes. I would have wear it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice. And uh, um, before we get into the other f um, entertainment that we have going on, um, what are the questions for this one? Yeah. Should, we, the, should we do a verse of Asifwe? Mm -hmm. Should we do a, have us or, or call her sing a verse of, of Asifwe? Hey, if you have another prize to give, yeah, yeah. that might not be a bad idea. All right, if you call us, and you sing us a verse of Asifue after the next song by Earl, we will uh, you get to give be you the, the next prize before we leave this morning. Yeah. Earl, why don't you, um, you had a song to love somebody? What do we have there? Oh, what do you want to play? What a wonderful world? Out of reach. Out of reach. Out of reach. Okay. Just out of reach. Out of reach. Out of reach. I remember when a young boy, she was way out of reach. <laughs> These days we say Ultimate League. <laughs> Anytime you need to get into a specific mood and you're, you're not there yet, 
allow some music to get you into that That's mood. That's right. Whether yeah. it's a happy mood, you are trying to get happy, listen to happy music. Mm -hmm. Trying to get romantic, listen to some romantic music. But you have to remember the four, anyway, right now, anyone who, uh, just before this song, just before this song, um, Earl played Asifue, which is, I a think, classic, everybody's favorite. An absolute classic, you a know. favorite. Carlos, sing us a little bit of Asifue, a verse or two, and you can win yourself. A beautiful, beautiful. pair Thanks of heart-shaped or heart-designed earrings, and uh, as well a heart-shaped um, bracelet. And this bracelet is very beautiful because, first of all, the links are very exquisite, and the heart itself is crusted oh, yeah? in crystals. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, we, we have a caller here. Hello, caller. Good morning. Hello, pleasant good morning, good. and happy Valentine to everybody who happy. won our brand. Thank you. To you too, my dear. And you as well. I'm not going to listen to but I'm going to try. <laughs> All right. So let's hear you. Okay. <laughs> For effort, right? Uh, yeah. Earl, what do you think? She tried. Yeah, <laughs> okay. What's your name? Catherine <laughs> Dunn. Catherine Dunn. All right, <laughs> Catherine. Um, you could pick up your prize here at Love and bring ID, okay? Okay, then. Yeah, um, well, you're, you're welcome. And um, like somebody, let's say, keep your day job. Oh, Lord, you know? y'all are mean. <laughs> 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 no, but you tried, and you know, I could imagine. You know what? You apart, from, apart from not knowing the lyrics, your voice was very pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then, thank you very much. Well, you know what? You can give your better half for Valentine, sing him a song. Okay. Well, you okay. You want a, a heart shaped, um, a heart design earring set, as well as a heart design bracelet, courtesy of okay. Jewelry Galore. Yeah. Thank you very much and thank you for this concert. Pick it up here at, at Love. All right. Catherine Dunn. Thank you. Now, uh, it's important to know that Jewelry Galore is uh, a local, um, they sell Brazilian, quality Brazilian jewelry, uh, very exquisite designs, um, and so it's, it's a way to upgrade your, like, your custom jewelry collection. Mm -hmm. And, um, allow, you know, put a little sparkle into it's your accessory beautiful. collection. They're beautiful. Yeah. They're really, 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 really mm, nice. Yeah. And they have um, a Facebook page and Instagram as well. If you no, want to I, what I was going to say, remember that you have some people, Lama Kobe right now. <laughs> and this is not a deal, you know. So for them, unfortunately, you know, maybe we should no, have No, listen, a even if you Makobe are... Makobe D. Um, you can enjoy the time still, man. I mean, no, no, no. no. no you yes, never you had can. Makobe, that's yes. why you said that. <laughs> Your heart has never been A broken. little wine, a little music is going to make the Makobe a lot more... Mellow. Okay. You, you, could able, you're, you can you're, romanticize you're to, even Makobe. Right. right? This is what this is how you get these Makobe songs, <laughs> these romantic Makobe songs because well, somebody that's, that's chose to. You know they, they, when they're heartbroken they write the best songs. Thank you the very best much. Love songs it would not have happened that. without heartbreak. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so there's a there's a there's a time for Earl agrees Earl, with what me. are you going to play for us to close out the show this morning? To love somebody. To love somebody. Alrighty.
big thank you to you all, of course. Um, I know you're enjoying your retirement, obviously. Uh, are you playing in any band or anything? Uh, you're not playing publicly in any other way right now? Well, if I hear, no. If I no, hear, no. no I release them. By Black Orchid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we just started to put a jazz thing together. Oh, sounds oh, good. Yeah. When so, do you do that? As a matter of fact, this, this Sunday having a wine tasting. Okay. At Black Orchid? At Black Orchid. All righty. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Speaking hey, of everybody. that, we want to, before we go, we want to say thanks to our, our sponsors. We had uh, Riverside Tavern and Fine Taste, mm -hmm. and of course the Jewelry Galore, the, the, the that's Sam's, Flower Shop, Sam's? That's correct. XAMS, XAMS, of course, Midtown Restaurant. And Madisco. The Oasis, the Oasis uh, Beverage Center at Madisco, with the finest wines and other beverages. And of course, we, um, again, Jewelry Galore and Fine Taste. And Congratulations to all our winners. And thanks to you, Earl, for coming in this morning and playing for us. You charmed, you charmed Tamar. I know you. I do. am charmed. Thank yeah, you. She's charmed, <laughs> uh, definitely. And your assistant? Who's your assistant? Fabulous DJ, Fabian. Oh, okay, he was in the background. He was producing actually. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't show him uh, like on the camera. He was producing, and of course our MCO behind the controls, and he's with uh, Sean. That's correct. We have Sean William. Armin in the. That's William. Yeah, and Armin in the radio studio, and of course. If you're watching us or streaming us on on the on the, the internet, thank you for doing that. Wherever you are in your homes, enjoy your weekend. I just want to say this is just the launch of our Valentine weekend um, that we're having. Because here we are on, yes, not Love. the morning show, but mm -hmm. Love it continues. FM. So please do stay mm -hmm. tuned because we will be having more activities that are just gonna set the mood mm -hmm. for this weekend of love and. Um, also, we are celebrating our anniversary come Monday, Monday. right? Monday, um, mm -hmm. on Valentine's Day itself. Um, so, yeah, stay with us. Stay with us. Stay tuned to Love FM, especially for the rest of the weekend. Right. Well, Tamara, thanks again. You and you enjoy welcome. your Valentine. Val I, will, I certainly will. Like Thank a friend you of mine much. call it Valentine's. Val Valentine's. Uh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> enjoy your time. And of course, be good. Thanks, I will try. <laughs> Happy Valentine's to everybody. And that's it for this edition of The Morning Show. Be careful and be kind to somebody today. Belize and beyond. Well, thanks, thanks for choosing for love. Bye-bye. I said good morning, Belize, and good morning. And how are you this morning? Good morning, Belize, and good morning. And how are you this morning? Good morning, Billy. What a pretty pretty day. Good morning, Billy.